I don't think so. Again, I think we got to draw on a little bit of the NCHC tournament and getting, you know, getting some experience there with some postseason play. And, um, you know, I'm sure they're going to be there, but, you know, at the end of the day, you got to do, do one or two things that you know are going to help you get into the game and help you get engaged and, and just focus on, uh, you know, the present moment. So that's what we're talking to our guys about. And I think having a skate here and just getting on the ice tomorrow morning before the game and just uh, kind of get, getting, uh, getting moving, I think, will help us out as well. You know, we, we have some, some high-end players, but we're definitely a, a team that plays as a team. And we need everybody going. We need all 12 forwards going, seven defensemen and our goaltending working together uh, towards a common goal. And I think that's when we're most effective is when everybody's engaged in the game and, and playing well. Uh, so that's what we're looking to bring here on uh, Saturday night. Absolutely. That's a big focus for us. Uh, you know, especially uh, keeping our stick on the ice and keeping our free hand uh, disengaged on the p opposition and and just playing a, a smart, hard game. And that's something we've definitely been preaching for the last couple of weeks here. And, um, you know, anytime uh, you give another team a power play, it's to their advantage. And uh, we want to limit those opportunities uh, by a good Minnesota team. Yeah, we, uh, uh, I think it was last Saturday, we had like a little team scrimmage thing. So it was kind of to get our our game like in for the week so it's kind of like we didn't miss that week but still can't really replicate a game the way you can unless, unless you're playing a game so uh, I think we'll be well rested and I think we'll everyone's kind of pumped up just to be here so I think we'll be ready to go from the start. He's been preaching that for a while now and I think it's just we just got to find that that happy medium where we can still play play aggressive and play to our strengths but make sure we stay away from their hands and you know they're going to call it tight and we just got to play the right way. Yeah, I think that's all you have to do is just kind of, yeah, it's a win or go home situation, but and it just kind of comes down to us and how we want to play. And if we go out and play our game the way we can and we've showed throughout the year, we'll be just fine. No, it's uh, it's fun. You kind of lose track of guys over the years, but, uh, you know, I've played with or against so many of them growing up, trained with some of them in the summer, played with some in junior hockey in Muskegon and whatnot. So uh, I think it's just exciting to see where guys are at and just have that that chance to kind of test yourself and, and to see how far you've come to. Yeah, I just think we have to stick to our identity. Um, I think it's going to be good to try to set our own pace for the game. Uh, we're a physical team. And we play our best when all four lines are going and everybody's competing their hardest. So um, like uh, Jordan said earlier, I think we lack a little bit of that experience, but that's no excuse. We're just going to come out and get settled in right away in the first. And um, from there, just um, go north, play hard, be smart with the puck and uh, try to finish checks when we can. Yeah, I know. We're definitely comfortable with uh, the schedule and the protocols. Um, you know, it's it's definitely interesting seeing around the country with the, the different teams getting uh, shut down there with Notre Dame and Michigan. So I think we're being extra smart here. Not that we weren't before by any means, but I think it just becomes that much more real when you see a couple teams get taken out of the tournament. So um, we're just we're doing all the right things. We're in the masks, um, washing hands, staying away as much as possible, yet trying to get that team bonding time. and. Uh, just have fun with the process at the end of the day like there's only 14 teams left and, and less after today so we're just having fun with it um, enjoying our time here and you, you gotta love the nicer weather out here in Colorado.